Lake Victoria is the largest freshwater lake in Africa, second largest in the world. It is shared by three countries, namely Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. It is a source of livelihood to about 70% of the population who live around it. However, in the recent past, it has been encroached by one venomous tenant, the water hyacinth weed, capable of doubling its reserves in 12 days, making it one of the fastest growing plants in the world. It has greatly affected the economic activities of this region, most especially fishing, which has declined by over 30,000 tons in the past four years. The government of Kenya has tried to solve this problem, one, by mechanical dredging, removing the weed from the surface of the lake. However, it has failed to work, mainly because this weed moves from one place to another and grows very fast. The other method they tried is that they imported weevils from Australia to feed on that weed. However, after feeding on the weed, the weevils proceeded to people's farms, destroying the produce. So, we have a solution, a sustainable solution. We are aqua ethanol. We produce bioethanol fuel from water hyacinth weed, sell it to low-income peri-urban and rural households in Kenya at $0.82 per liter. 64% of Kenyans use firewood as the prime cooking fuel source. 66% of them use paraffin, especially in our target market, either for cooking or lighting. The ones that use firewood, the ones that use firewood contribute a lot to deforestation. So our beached market is composed of about 230,000 households who are the immediate dwellers of the lakeside region, with the potential to scale up to higher markets in the East African Lake Basin region. To our customers, we give a cheap and a clean cooking alternative that burns longer, and using sustainable production methods, we are going to eradicate the water hyacinth, which is a menace to these same customers. Above that, we are going to employ customer-friendly paying systems in form of vending machines, which we call aqua ethanol ATMs, which are going to give dealers in the village so that customers can purchase only what they can afford. This will promote flexibility in their buying patterns, as well as saving us costs for packaging. So what value do we quantify to our customer? Two parameters, the price and the combustion time. The price of our product is $0.37 cheaper per liter as compared to paraffin. And it burns for two and a half hours longer. How do we make our product? First, we source local fishermen and boatmen who harvest the water hyacinth for us, and then we pay them. The water hyacinth is then size reduced and pretreated in our plant to give a hydrolysis that is then hydrolyzed using aspergillus and fermented using saccharomyces to give us a crude product which we then filter, we distill, and stabilize to give us our final product. In that regard, we have forged strategic partnerships with Jomo Kenyatta University, Kenya Medical Research Institute, and the International Center for Insect Physiology and Entomology, where product development is being done. We have filed for a patent for our process and our product under KIPI in Kenya, the body in charge of registering patents, and is currently under substantive examination. We are doing on-site production with the name of reducing carbon foot, our carbon footprint and at the same time relating well and better with our customers and the local community. And finally, but not least, using the waste of this process, we are producing lignin briquettes and biofertilizer. The lignin briquettes are used as replacement or alternative for the charcoal. After talking to 66 customers, asking them what fuel they use, how much they pay for it, and the problems they encounter while using it, we realize that 38% of them, especially in rural areas, are using firewood. 26% are using charcoal, and 21% are currently using paraffin. 74% of the total people we interviewed complained about indoor pollution by the fuel sources that they use. Also, they complained about the inconsistencies in their income, which limit their purchasing power. The main problems that they, the, the main problems that they encounter are indoor pollution, which is a big problem. So, what is our market? With a beached market of about 230,000 customers and a market share of 25%, selling our product at $0.82 per liter, we target to reach, uh, we target to make a profit of 450,000, with our key value drivers being the cost, the price, and the number of customers. With customers using whatever they are using in the beached market, we are going to save a humongous 14 tons of CO2 annually. So how are we going to achieve this? Our dream. I am Erika Ryuki, the founder. 
we have Kevin, who is a procurement and contract professional. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? Kirsten, yeah? Okay, what do you want to talk? Go ahead. Thank you for the presentation. I'm just curious. Uh, this is uh, ethanol product. How is, it, uh, how is it going to use, how are customers going to use this product? Yeah. So are you going to be selling it as the ethanol? Are you going to sell it together with the stoves? You haven't, maybe you need to expound okay. on that, yeah. So uh, it's an ethanol product, but what you're going to use, uh, currently customers in Kenya who use paraffin, uh, they, they go with jerry cans to the paraffin vendors to buy the paraffin. So what you're going to use, we're also going to employ a similar model where they come with their own uh, place where they can fill the fuel. But for the cook stoves, uh, it was in the backup slides, but it's not here. Uh, the, the cook stoves, um, we are going to sell the cook stoves at a one-off price of $23. But because customers might not afford the $23, what you're going to do, we are going to promote a higher purchase model, which involves selling the product at $28, and the customers can pay, inclusive in the price of the fuel, at $1.02 per liter. It is still cheaper than paraffin, and at the same time, cheaper than, fire, uh, than, fire, uh, than charcoal. So okay, they're going to use questions? it for 17 months. Well, I was going to sure. say, I love how you're solving two problems at once. So how much are you paying the fishermen or people who are collecting the water hyacinth? Is it enough to get them to collect it? Yeah, uh, okay. Um, in, uh, if we pay them for a one-off price per day, it's something that they can just collect. We give them around $3 to collect as much as they can, they can fill their boat with. So it's, uh, we have calculated it in the cost of our production. The water hyacinth strikes me as a, a problem for now. Yeah. Um, and if you solve that by producing bioethanol, what is your hypothesis around sustaining the production of water hyacinth to keep the bioethanol production going, but the lake return to sustainable balance? Good question. So uh, what we are planning to do, actually we had a uh, conversation with the, uh, one of the county governments in Kenya, and what they're telling us is that um, because they can see the potential of using the weed for a good purpose, Kenya has a lot of bays and gulfs where the weed confines itself. They are saying they are going to consecrate a one part of it where it can be grown for sustainable production, and then we are going to give us, because currently it's a menace and can grow in eight days. So it doubles very fast, and it's easy to sustain the production. Furthermore, uh, what we are using right now is a sustainable model that can sustain it. Okay. But Last it question. wouldn't be a menace in those bays? Yeah. It, it, by yeah, growing it, 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 is, it, it would is, still be a menace in those bays. Yeah, it is a menace in those bays. However... There are also other places that are polluted in Kenya. There are other lakes in Kenya that still have the same, same problem. We can, we can use the water hyacinth at the, same, uh, at the same time to perform the same purpose. But in the meantime, the places that it is affecting, we are, not, uh, we are collecting an amount that is sustainable, not the whole uh, hyacinth, not with the name of harvesting the whole menace. All righty. Thank you. Thank you.